Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me using clean beauty products. Now, clean beauty doesn't have a standard definition and is not monitored by the FDA. So the definition will kind of differ uh, depending on what you're reading, who you're going to as a resource in terms of retailers, brands, etc. But in general, Clean beauty are beauty products and skincare products that do not contain any known known toxins. Um, so it's technically toxin free. It's not the same thing as natural because not all natural items or like elements are safe. So if you think of poison ivy, it is a natural um, item technically, but it's not safe for you. So I don't want to confuse natural with clean. Clean just means that maybe there aren't like parabens or silicones or what have you. Uh, if you think of Drunk Elephant, they have like their Suspicious Six, which I'm not sure if I agree with all of them, but at least they're identifying six ingredients that you will never find in their products, um, and they're using that as kind of like their benchmark. Before I begin, I do want to say I prepped my skin with the Ren Day Cream. I received this courtesy of Ren. They were kind enough to send it to me. And this one is just a really nice day cream. Um, it doesn't have SPF in it. Um, however, it it doesn't irritate my skin. It is formulated for those with sensitive skin. I don't have sensitive skin, um, so I don't have anything in terms of like redness, etc. If you do, the reviews on this are amazing. For so me, the next product I'm going to use is the Lawless Woke Up Like This Foundation. It was created by Annie Lawless, who I believe was actually an influencer before she created her own makeup line. She launched with um, liquid lipsticks and now she's venturing off into the complexion category with the foundation as well as a loose setting powder. I think it's called Seal the Deal and it comes in three shades. My local Sephora was um, sold out of it and I just took that as a sign for me to not buy anything else. Is This foundation is formulated for all skin types and it's buildable coverage with a fresh radiant finish. Um, it promises to be non-comedogenic, which means it won't clog your pores, therefore causing breakouts. Um, and it promises also to be comfortable throughout the date with a lightweight feel that won't fade or disappear. Um, so this is just one application of the Lawless Foundation. It definitely is um, a dewy foundation. I mean, I look wet. <laughs> Um, and it is full coverage, so I'm interested to see how this one sets on the skin, um, if it sets, but I definitely know that I'm going to have to go in with a powder. Uh, um, but it doesn't feel thick or cakey on the skin, which I like. In terms of other clean beauty um, foundations, I have tried the Kyer Cure Weiss. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to say Cure. This is a Cure Weiss Flawless Foundation, and there are two options. You can either purchase it in this really chic case um, it's a refillable compact um, it's very heavy very luxe uh, i used to carry this in my purse but i just had to stop because it was that heavy um, or you can pop out um, or you can just purchase the refillable compact um, if you have like your own palette etc but just know that the metal tin or the metal pan in here is not magnetic so if you just purchase the refillable one you will have to apply a magnet on the back um, this is $68 if you purchase it with the case, um, and then the refills are $40. So it's still expensive. This I would describe as like the Tom Ford of the clean beauty world. And as you can see, I've tried to use it. The only difficulty that I've had so far with Kira White's foundation is that it's A, really dry um, and really thick. So when the first time I applied it, I was having such difficulty just blending it out uh, with my brush and it just wasn't really working out for me and it felt really heavy on the skin. What I have found to work when I do use this is to apply like an oil underneath um, as a primer first and then use my finger to warm it up and then just apply this with my finger instead of a brush or a beauty blender. Um, although I haven't heard anyone else have that issue, I went on YouTube, people love this, so it's just not I guess it's not me and I don't mind I mean I guess it's just me <laughs> um, and I don't mind using my fingers the one downside which sort of makes me really not want to use this is the scent and I don't know if it's the one that I got but this one smells sort of like clay or play-doh um, and it just reminds me of when makeup goes bad so I'm gonna check out uh, the store and just maybe 
smell the testers, as weird as that sounds, but the scent is just so overpowering that I just can't deal with it and I, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> All right, next up, I'm going to be applying the RMS Uncover, um, was it the Uncover Up <laughs> Concealer? So the Uncover Up Concealer is actually, I wanna say pretty damn near famous. Um, it's a cult favorite. People love this because it's so lightweight um, and it doesn't cover, it's not like a thick or cakey concealer, so it doesn't necessarily cover up, hence the name, um, but it still does just make you, your skin look healthy and like skin-like, but it does hide the imperfections. Um, I want to say this is what Glossier's like stretch concealer was modeled after because everything from the texture to the packaging just looks pretty much damn near identical. <laughs> um, and it's so easy to work with. You can just use your finger to apply. They did just recently expand the shade selection. So before it was only in, available in eight shades, which was very dismal. Um, but now they've expanded to eight more shades, um, of which I believe four are deep. So I am using in the shade 88, I believe it is. Yes, 88, and I'm not sure if you can see, but it just looks like skin. I'm not sure if this is the right foundation to um, test it with since it is so full coverage. RMS as a brand is very much like no makeup makeup. It's anti-cake face, um, and I don't mind that. The one thing that has um, prevented me from purchasing the, um, the range, A, was the shade selection for the concealer, but B was the founder, Rosemary Swift. She's a makeup artist. Um, and on Instagram, she just gets like wild ass. <laughs> she has gotten into a lot of tiffs in the past with either bloggers or consumers. The responses on Instagram tend to be very snarky and the content that they used to put out was very much like scary tactics, fear mongering, um, everything was bad, everything was gonna give you cancer. And that for me, it just goes a little bit above like a, like above the line crosses the line whatever that f saying is um, I feel like there's a way to get your message across without a making every other brand try, like look like shit um, and be getting negative or snarky with consumers if they either disagree with you or if they kind of call you out maybe it's because I work in the industry but I just there's a level of unprofessionalism that has gone on on their Instagram so it makes it very difficult for me as a consumer to purchase for the powder I'm going in with the Ilia soft focus powder um, this is the fade into you soft focus powder um, I love this powder and I've been using it for year well not years <laughs> I've been using it consistently for the past like year and a half um, it is one of my favorite powders I like it more than like the Too Faced or even I want to say the Laura Mercier because it's so finely milled um, and I can apply it all over the face just to mattify the face without it um, getting flashback or looking white and ghostly on my skin. It's just one of my favorite powders. I use it to bake, I use it to um, just set my, mat like mattify my foundation, uh, all around great, um, great, great, great powder. So the Jillian Dempsey lid tint says, an instant pop and glow on your eyes with just the swipe of your finger. It is made with uh, organic jojoba oil, organic shea butter, marula oil, vitamin E, and vitamin C. There are no parabens, no sulfates, no phthalates, or petrochemicals. It is cruelty and um, cruelty free and vegan. So I'm just going to taking this ear, airy, Air Perez, I'm gonna go in with the light brown shade in the crease and then maybe set that Jillian Dempsey lid tint because it's a lot shinier than I was anticipating. Taking the Sigma E55 and this Ilia Quad, I'm going to go in this shade called Pyrite. There is quite a bit of fallout with this um, shadow, so it's just something to consider when you are applying it. I 
I do like these eyeshadows. The one thing that I'll say is that there's a lot of fallout. Um, so you definitely, especially with the blues and the blacks, you would want to lay down a layer of translucent powder um, just to make sure you catch that fallout. And then for mascara, I'm going in with the Ilia um, After Midnight Mascara. So I thought I was filming. Turns out I wasn't. <laughs> I filled in my brows with this Plume um, Brow Pomade in the shade Endless Midnight. Now, this promises to actually help stim stimulate the growth of your brow hairs. Um, and it also comes with a dual-ended um, brow brush, brush, which I really like. I'm going to move on to the cheeks. And I purchased this Josie Marin Vibrancy Palette. It has several different blush shades and then a um, highlighter. So these two are supposed to be highlights, Force Field and In Light. This is a blush and this um, bottom color right here is supposed to be a sculpt, but on me it's gonna be a blush, <laughs> um, like a nudie blush. I'm gonna go in with this bright ass pink uh, blush called Sweetness. This is basically the reason why I wanted the palette because it's so beautiful. And then for highlight, I'm actually going to use this Ritual de Fee um, highlight in the shade Anthelion. Uh, this promises to be a gold with um, little bits of shifts in it. I have used it before and it's a very subtle highlight color. It's not like bam in your face. Um, I do like to warm it up like with a lot of cream products. Because I can't get enough, I'm going to go in with the Antonym Baked Blush in the shade Copper. This reminds me a lot of the Laura Geller, was it Laura Geller? The Baked Blushes. And a little bit goes a long way with this. This is a blush, but it does have like the gold um, shimmers in there. This is the Kosas Lipstick in the shade fringe. I'm going to put that on top. <laughs> there we go. All right, so whoop, there it is. <laughs> I'm, I really hope this video turned out well. If you guys tried or like Clean Beauty, definitely let me know some of your favorites, that way I could check them out. I will leave the links to all of the products that I've used below, as well as some uh, resources that you can go to either buy or learn more about uh, a lot of the Clean Beauty products. I personally like Credo Beauty and the Detox Market, um, and as well as Falane, I believe is how you pronounce it. There are a couple of places that you can check out. Um, I will leave all of that down in the description bar. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Bye.